A news out of Africa, Haiti has requested U.S. and U.N. security forces to help it protect key infrastructure like the airports and ports after the assassination of the president, Juvenel Moise, by foreign mercenaries. Haiti has requested the help of U.S. and U.N. forces to protect the country after President Jovenel Moïse was assassinated by foreign mercenaries this week. But the U.S. rebuffed the request for military assistance on Friday, even as it pledged to help with the investigation, while the U.N. said it was reviewing their request. A Haitian government minister said Friday interim Prime Minister Claude Joseph had raised the topic of assistance with U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and the U.N. Security Council earlier this week. Two letters sent to the U.S. Embassy and the U.N. and seen by Reuters requested the support of troops to reestablish security and protect key infrastructure like the poor and airport. The minister said the request would also help scheduled presidential and legislative elections go forth in September. Colombia has also pledged to help with the investigation after Haiti police said 26 of their nationals had been arrested for Moise's murder. Some of the suspects had retired from Colombia's army. Two Haitian-American suspects were also identified as James Solage and Joseph Vincent, both from Florida. 17 of the men, including Solage and Vincent, have been captured. Three others were killed and eight remain at large, according to Haitian police, who are still hunting for the masterminds of the operation. Haitian officials have not given a motive for Moise's killing. He had faced calls for his resignation over corruption allegations, economic mismanagement, and his increasing grip on power. Moise's killing has sparked further confusion and chaos in the already politically turbulent country over who will take control. Crowds gathered outside the U.S. Embassy in Haiti on Friday amidst a state of emergency. Death for a way. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.